Goosebumps. On this week's episode, we're reviewing book number 52, How I Learned to Fly. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a kid. That's awful. Oh. He's got his head in the clouds, for real. Wilson Schlame loves to make Jack Johnson feel like a total loser. And Jack's had it. But everything's about to change because Jack just dug up the coolest book. It's called Flying Lessons. It tells how humans can learn to fly. Poor Jack. He wanted to get back at Wilson, but now that Jack's learned to fly, things down on Earth are getting really scary. All right, but before we dive into our discussion of book number 52, let's shoot it over to Amy and see what we're drinking for this week's chat. Amy? Oh, I thought you were gonna... Jesus Christ. This, that book was in really good condition, too. Was. Was. <laughs> How'd I learn to fly? Well, that's easy. Aviation Gin, the only American distilled gin endorsed by Ryan Reynolds. Aviation Gin, Cran Apple Juice, Pomegranate Izzy, Cheers, guys. Thanks, Ryan Reynolds. Intro shot. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit him in the knees. <laughs> Someone clink my behind glass. You, behind you, behind you, man, behind you. <laughs> no, come Boom. on, come on. You fuckers. Ugh. A little more juice would have been nice. Meet Jack Johnson, who is this kid who is totally crushing on Mia at school. And Mia is this beautiful, raven-haired. Green-eyed. Yeah. And and Jack Jack's problem is... Tease. Tease? What? Raven-haired, green-eyed tease. I don't get it. She's just a tease. Oh, it's, oh, T-E-A-S-E. I, I feel like T apostrophe S. Let me start this again. <laughs> why, why would it be T apostrophe S ever? Like, did I say Mr. T's? She's a raven-haired, green-eyed Mr. T's? <laughs> Mrs. T's pierogies. <laughs> but like, no. But why would it have ever, why would you have thought I was saying T apostrophe S? I don't know. First name is Mr. Middle name is that period. Last name is T. Meet Jack Johnson, who is crushing on Mia, his fellow classmate. Unfortunately for Jack, he is always shown up by Wilson, who, who is constantly hanging out with him and Mia. And Wilson's always showing up Jack at every corner. He's got the better bicycle. He's better at drawing superheroes. He can eat the, he has the bigger hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh my right. God. I, mean, I, I mean, really? It. it was like. <laughs> Mia's got a birthday party and, and they have hot dogs for lunch. And yeah, he's like, Jack, you call that a hot dog? And he's got a foot long and he eats he's it in, in two bites. bites. It's like, like, congratulations, you can guzzle that dog. They like, like, literally oh. had a, a, a pissing contest. Like, it was like they whipped him out and his and Wilson's was bigger. Yeah, Wilson Wilson's a weird character, but I don't want to gloss over main character Jack Johnson because Jack Johnson's last name is Johnson, which might be one of our names. It might be a name in the room right now. <laughs> to swallowing a Johnson in two gulps. So anyway, yeah, Jack is at Mia's birthday party and he's just fed up with um, being shown up by Wilson. Like at one point, Wilson's like the best at Twister. And, and so he- Who the fuck cares? Hold First on. of all, Hold... when have male frenemies ever been a thing? Hold on. The, my favorite part about them playing Twister at the party, is so Jack goes, well, I'll just spin the wheel. And Wilson goes, no, my dog Terminator will spin the wheel. Hey, Terminator, hey boy, come spin, spin the wheel. And, and he this, knew how to do it. This dog on command can spin a twister wheel. This book is insane. Isn't that dope though? It was pretty dope. Right foot blue. Right foot blue. Left hand red. Left hand red. Jack is at this party. He's being shown up by Wilson in hot dog eating, twister playing. Hot dog sizing. Yeah, yes. I was gonna say just having the bigger, smaller hot dog. He splits his pants playing twister. Uh, <laughs> It's, so anyway, he's so excited because Mia's finally opening her presents and Jack got her a CD of her favorite band. Purple Rose. Purple Rose. 
And then he's like, oh, look, Wilson just got her an envelope. Did he really just get her a birthday card? Lame. I don't know where that was going. And Mia opens it, and of course, it's tickets to yeah. see Purple Rose. But this is a perfect example. So in the beginning of the book, Jack talks about how he hates to compete. He doesn't ever want to deal with it. Then throughout the entire book, he's busy talking about competing with Wilson uh, on dumb shit because Wilson's better than him at this, this, this. Yeah, and he's, he's like, I want to get me the better present. Yeah. yeah stop. And then at the end of the book, he comes back to, see, I told you I hated competing. And it's like, motherfucker, the whole book you were competing yeah. with this fool. You never had to race him. You kept just doing it. Yeah. Jack blows his lid that that uh, Wilson one-upped him once more and got tickets for, for Mia's favorite band. And he storms... God damn it. All right. Jason's taking his random shot with me that I allocate for him. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not how this works. Yes, it is, you dick. Pour yourself one, too. I'll cheers you now. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Damn, son! What did you think was gonna happen? It'll burn your face right off! So Jack's upset that he's been one-upped once more by Wilson, and he's like, I'm done with this. And he, he storms out, runs the runs out of the party and just leaves. And it's such a little... And Mia and Wilson and all their friends are like, no, Jack, come back! And they keep chasing and chasing, and he, he runs away uh, through the streets of Malibu and to an abandoned house there's not fucking abandoned houses in Malibu. Get out of here. It, so, yeah, he hides in it while his friends are, like, chasing him uh, after Mia's party. Yeah, he goes into, like, the the down the basement. Or yeah. does he? He falls he in falls, that basement. Right? Yeah. Because this house in Malibu is so decrepit that the floors just give way. Falls through the floor into the basement. Discovers flying lessons for humans. Well, he's attacked by rats first. And, he is attacked by rats. And I believe there's a there's a point of contention here about whether or not he was kicking rats off him and whether that counts as animal abuse. He said he had some on his legs and he kicked them off and they went splat. splat. I don't know. Is that it? Like a rat's animals? I thrashed my leg wildly and kicked the rat across the room. See, that's like punting a poodle. Can that you can I, you demonstrate? Uh, thrashing your leg wildly? No, you do the stanky leg. You do the stanky leg. <laughs> Is that how you're getting rats I off you? Get know. off of me, rat. Do the stanky leg. <laughs> do the rat. stanky leg. Do, do we cheers animal abuse? <laughs> <laughs> how, do we, how do we do this? Ah, just drink the shot. Pour it for your homie. So after Jack is done putting rats across the room in this abandoned Malibu house... He's looking for an exit, right? And then he discovers a box. Flying lessons like, for humans. Like a box on a table with nothing else. No, and, it's just fucking and it, and chilling it's, out. It's got a book in it, and someone would leave this flying lessons for humans. And he doesn't think much of it, he grabs it and he gets out of there. I, inside the book is a recipe which is like eggs, seltzer, a bunch of like random household ingredients. But there's a tearaway envelope in the book of the powder that you need to put into yeah. it. So Morty, uh, Blue, what do you, glittery powder. What do you think the powder was? PCP? Angel dust. Angel dust. Angel I mean, dust. you're flying. Yeah. As you take up the decanter. Yes. Woo! Uh, you know, Ned, why don't you join me on this one since you gave me a shot? Ugh. Fucking Murphy. So Jack goes through the book, does the special exercises, says the magic words, makes the magic recipe. So Jack makes this potion to fly, and his dog Morty eats it. And his dog uh, goes after a frisbee and starts to float away. But his dog didn't say the magic words, so I didn't understand that yeah, shit at all. Like that seemed. I thought the exact same thing, and it said you have to truly believe. If all what? you do is give a, well, I mean, I can see the dog truly believing, right? Because he's like, "Fuck, I gotta go get that frisbee." So, like, I think if I, th I didn't get the sense that anything <clears throat> leading up until uh, until him eating it actually helped him fly. I thought all the exercises and the magic words were bullshit. It was really just the concoction that made him fly. Well, apparently it was. As, as exhibited by the dog eating it and then flying it just, What exhibit is it that? It just C. No, it's C. No, it's C. X to the Z. Ooh! What song is that so I can cut it in? Exhibit. <laughs> it's, uh... 
X, just the song X. It's literally called X. X gonna give it to you? No, that's DMX. That's DMX. X is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. X is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. Jack ingests some of this dough, and then he flies up after Morty. And he's like, oh my god, I'm flying. And he manages to grab Morty, and, and learns kind of how to direct to, himself, yeah. and gets back on the ground. He's like, oh my god. Wait till I show Mia this. There's no way Wilson can one-up me on this because I can now fly. He's like, there's no way Wilson can one-up me. Going back to my previous point, motherfucker does like to compete. He's just lying to himself and all of you and me as the reader, which is bullshit. So reader, beware. You You're are in for, in a lie. for some bullshit. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 So Jack, having just learned to fly, calls up Mia and Wilson and is like, hey, uh, come meet up. And he challenges Wilson to a race. And he's like, this is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna race Wilson, I'm gonna start to fly, and Mia's gonna love me. And they start to race, and Wilson takes off into the air. Wilson is flying. Turns out, Wilson followed Jack. He saw him flying, followed him home, saw where he hid the book. Saw the book and then- Just uh, took it. Took, took the book and the potion and everything and learned how to fly. And so once more, Jack has been- <laughs> So because Wilson loves to brag and show off, uh, the world discovers that both he and Jack can fly. And so naturally... Wonder Wilson and Amazing Flying Boy. Nice. Oh, God. Down the hatch she goes, bubs! What was that face? Because Wilson's uh, not one who's you know, like not gonna brag. Immediately he tells everybody that uh, he can fly. And so he outs him and Jack. And so they become super popular. Wilson gets his own TV show as like a superhero. Jack is beset with like government agents who want to give, like put him through body tests to find out how he learned to fly. So they, they, they want to militarize it. And, yeah, and the fact that they just flat out said that, yep. I was like, I was like, are these getting more grown up or is, I, I don't want to say it's just me, because that's clearly not well, the it, case. At, at that point, when the government came in, it reminded me of that, uh, what was the other Goosebumps book? I think it was Egg Monsters from Mars, where they had that lab. Oh, where they yeah. Were, and, and they were keeping the kid there, and it's like, well, this has gone from, like, ooh, a scary kid story to, oh, like, fuck. like, yeah, to like kidnapping. kidnapping. The government yes. kidnapping children. Yeah, and now we're doing government experiment experimentation on a child. And here's what's funny. If the government was going to take him, they would draw blood, first thing. They're not going to ask him questions. Isn't that a Rambo movie? First Blood? No, yeah. yeah. Rambo, draw blood. <laughs> Rambo true, draw blood. So the book culminates in one final spectacular race between Jack and Wilson. To the Hollywood sign and back. That's going to be televised to two billion people. And Wilson takes off, and Jack is like, <gasps> he falls. I can't do it. He jumps up and comes right back down. He's like, I've I've lost my ability to fly, and everyone's like, "Oh, out of business, business. Yeah, out, out of business. business." And so the book ends with basically, "Oh yeah, well Wilson's got all the fame, all the glory. He can fly, and I can't." But actually, I lied. L O L O L O L. I can all fly, still, bitch. All the bad stuff's happening to Wilson too. Like he has no free time. I love that he still lives in he his has house. No, yeah, he has no time to spend with Mia anymore because of all his celebrity and so now appearances. Mia's but so all Jack, over Jack's and Jack. And because Jack is Jack's lying about Johnson. his ability to fly because Jack still occasionally goes out at the end of night and soars over Malibu. Uh, How profound is life that? Life ending. Can we just point out that there was nothing scary about this book? Like, oh. They didn't give you goosebumps? No, not at all. Did it give you goosebumps? A little bit. Jason! Why don't you give us a rating of this book? I... Rate it! Rate it. This is an interesting goosebumps book because it's not in the normal vein of obviously spooky, scary. Uh, the scariest thing you have is some rats coming at, at Jack at one point. I would give this book an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it, and it's a good change of pace 
for goosebumps at this point. Bob, what would you rate this book? Five. Just for fun? I'm, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I'm not mm. sure. Five okay. seems middle. Five is middle. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm saying. It also seems it. It's math. Okay. What did you rate it? Eight. I also give it an eight. Bob fucked this up. The one time I give it a straight number, all it is is just an eight. He's out there doing an 8.000. No, he didn't do any zeros. There was there was implied, implied zeros. Implied zeros. <laughs> Fucking A, Bob. Fucking A. X is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. X. Before we move on to our next book, we do have some shout outs to read. Dominic says, hey guys, been watching Drinking with Goosebumps since the world went to shit. Quick question for your next episode. What are your own worst fears? Drowning. Really? I am terrified to drown. I would go heights. I don't, I, I don't like those either. <laughs> All right. I don't think I like anything. I really don't <laughs> like much. Also, a shout out to Emily in Seattle. Thank you for your donation. Well, that about wraps it up for How I Learned to Fly. Please join us next time for... Goosebumps number 52. How I Learned to Fly. Oh, God damn it. Which one is it? Goosebumps number 53. Chicken, chicken. I guess for some reason, I thought there was a comma between the chickens. Chicken, chicken. It's fing it's a finger licking nightmare. Don't call them chicken legs. Do, do not that. give that. I'm gonna give it a chicken. I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna give it a chicken. I'm gonna give it a not. comma. I'm gonna give it Don't a cut the book before we I'm even read it. I'm just gonna give it a comma. No cutting the book. Just give me, put the can book I down. Real quick? No, okay. don't cut the book. Well, see, that's Ned. why I'm not putting the book down, Ned, Jason. Put what do you want me to away. do? Ned, do you want Ned to cut the book or do you want me to put the book down? I want both. I want the book down, knife away. Oh, you want Ned to cut the book and I don't think book like down. I don't okay. feel like I'm asking a lot here. I do don't not feel like I'm touch asking it. a lot here. I'm putting don't, a tiny little no, comma in the goddamn book. The, no, don't fucking touch That's it. I'll a cut you. Copy I of swear to God, I'll cut you. We are not doing the goddamn. God, you it. fucking give, give me the chicken, chicken. Give me the chicken, chicken. Give it, give it. Fucking cut you on the butt. Okay, all right. From us to you. Bullshit. Bullshit! Bullshit.